In this video, we'll demonstrate how to assemble the Yamaha YG-RD2500. The YG-RD2500 is part of the Yamaha Multi-Frame 2 percussion system. The Multi-Frame 2 was engineered with the player in mind. With easier height adjustment, robust wheels for greater maneuverability, and excellent ergonomics, this is our most advanced frame system yet. The Yamaha YG-RD2500 is a complete system that includes the frame and Glock top. Let's unpack and make sure you have everything included. Low-end frame assembly, high-end frame assembly, lower crossbar, front accessory rail, the Glock top, four knob bolts and washers for attaching the Glock top, and four RDC-10 rack clamps. There are no tools required for the assembly. Please be sure to hold on to all packaging until you've completed the assembly. This ensures that you don't accidentally discard any parts. Let's begin. First, make sure that the wheels on both frame assemblies are locked so that they will not move around while you work. With the low-end frame assembly upright, insert the lower crossbar into the low-end frame assembly. Please note that the crossbar has a notch on each end. This notch should be facing up and the letter should match up with the corresponding letter of each frame assembly. Once the crossbar is fully inserted, firmly tighten the wing nut. With the lower crossbar attached to the low end frame, attach the angle support to the low end frame. Remove the wing nut, spring washer, and washer from the center rail of the low end frame. Slide the angle support over the bolt on the low end frame center rail and tighten the wing nut firmly with the washer and spring washer. Please note the order of the washers before you complete this step. Next, insert the lower crossbar into the high end frame assembly. Once fully inserted, firmly tighten the wing nut. Now that the crossbar is in place, you can attach the angle support just as you did on the low end. Remove the wing nut, spring washer, and washer from the center rail of the high end frame. Slide the angle support over the bolt on the high end frame center rail and tighten the wing nut firmly with the washer and spring washer. With the base assembled, attach the front accessory rail. Loosen the clamp screws on both ends of the front accessory rail and slide them onto the poles on the side facing the audience. With the rail in place, tighten the clamp screws. The frame is now ready for the Glock top. With the help of a partner, carefully lift the Glock top and gently place it on the L brackets of the multi-frame. Align the L brackets with the holes on the underside of the Glock top and insert the supplied knob bolts and washers to secure the Glock top to the multi-frame. Do not fully tighten until all knob bolts are in place. With the Glock top in place and properly aligned, tighten the four knob bolts. Next, you'll be attaching the pull rod assembly. Loosen the wing bolts on the lower pedal assembly and insert the upper pull rod into the bottom of the gray rod receiver on the bottom of the Glock top assembly. While holding the gray rod receiver, thread the upper pull rod until it's tight. Adjust the pedal height and tighten the wing bolts on the lower pedal assembly. Remember to always loosen the wing bolts of the lower pedal rod before adjusting the height of the instrument. Congratulations! You've successfully assembled the Yamaha YG-RD2500 Multi-Frame 2. Remember, always adjust the height of the instrument with the help of a second person, and always loosen the vibe pedal before transporting or adjusting the height. Thank you for choosing Yamaha.